Hello, Micey. Smile for the camera. Talita. Micey, Mice. Hmm. Kaki so. Yes, Saya. She has to give her less maintenance. Why? Because the doctor said so. I just hope it doesn't cause a problem. Hi, so you just saw a little bit of my new morning routine. I'll get into that again later, but I am going to make some boiled eggs quickly. And oh, my screen thing is broken. That's so sad. <laughs> I have to take my phone cover off whenever I put my phone on the tripod that I film with. But anyway, um, I'm going to make some boiled eggs and then I thought I would give you a little bit of a mini life update. Um, things have changed in the last week or so, so it's time for an update. Okay, so I, some of the eggs are old and I had to test them to make sure they were still edible. Then I also remembered that I have an egg boiler, so I'm going to use the egg boiler now to make eggs. Okay, so while we wait for the eggs, let's talk about life updates. So as most of you already know, I started a new job at the beginning of the year. and I was super excited for it and I couldn't wait. I had been jobless for like an entire year and I was very excited when I got this job and I couldn't just, I, I just, I was so excited to start working and yeah. So work started and the first week was fine but then the second week I had a breakdown and I wasn't doing very well. I then started well let's say i stopped eating breakfast in the morning i am a breakfast person i love my breakfast and then now when i was working i was super nauseous in the morning and i was not eating i was stressed i wasn't sleeping so that's when it all started i kind of like didn't want to go to work um but anyway, so short story, long story short, short, I developed stress, anxiety and depression because of this job. And uh, it's been taking a real toll on my body, physically and on my mind, emotionally and mentally. Where I was having breakdowns and anxiety attacks like once or twice a week. Every Sunday was the same. I was having breakdowns and anxiety attacks. And I, you know, so last week I took the week off and I decided I am going to look after myself and I left. So I handed in my one week's resignation, which was last week. And so this is my first official day as unemployed. I have, I was very nervous and very scared because I've never been a person of stress and anxiety and depression and now I had been stressed and worried that it's something I'm going to have for the rest of my life and it was also very scary because it's something I've never had before. I've had other jobs before where I was happy, I didn't have stress and anxiety, I went overseas by myself which was stressful and I was fine so I did have a meeting with a psychologist and she helped a lot 
she feels that from previous experiences. What are you doing? Roxy. Roxy. What can't Am you I on the camera? Yeah. Come on the next room. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't even know what's going on. Yeah, come on, come on, come on. Nia, yeah, Nia. Anyway, so like I was saying, the psychologist helped me see that um, I have dealt with previous stressful in environments and situations, and she feels like the job was my trigger. So, yeah, always remember, even though I'm completely new to the stress and anxiety of looking after myself, uh, it's always important to look after yourself. Make sure you're healthy and your body is healthy. So yeah, that is kind of it. I also want to try and study. So I've always wanted to teach. I want to teach um, foundation phase, so like grade twos and grade threes. And I've always wanted to study, but I never got in after high school because they were full. So, and now I'm at the age where our university is here in South Africa have mature ex age exemption so anyone over the age of 23 should automatically get accepted if there's space so we're trying to get me in for either this year or for next year so that I can do my teaching degree um, after I didn't get in, in after high school I'd always just left the idea of ever studying but we did research and we discovered that the teaching salary and the enjoy the what's the word, Lavi? Reward. Benefits. There we go. The salary and the benefits will benefit us. And it's something I actually want to do. I really want to study. I, I mean, I really want to teach that age group. So that's the plan. I'm going to vlog with you guys today. I'm going to show you a little bit of what I've done. To help me feel better. Joseph's just making the dogs food. You saw earlier we were give Joseph gave Talita the hussy one of her medicines that she needs for her seizures. What was that one called? Potassium bromide. Potassium bromide. And she gets that once a day in the morning. And then she's got a few others that she gets as well. Let's take, the eggs are going to be a while, so I'm making boiled eggs in the egg boiler. Yay, egg boiler! And it's going to be my snack. Uh, so last week, towards the end of last week, I made myself a schedule, a weekly schedule to help me have a bit of structure and routine so that I don't feel about myself. And yeah, so I'm going to show you a bit about that let me just get oh. okay so this i printed and the color it's not a color printer so it's not very pretty but it works got one here and then i've also got one in the front of my diary and then i've also got a pdf copy on my computer so basically it's just giving me a schedule It's just giving me like a structure and routine that I can try stick to. So like 7.30 I'm waking up. Joseph's mom leaves for work just after that and we walk, say goodbye to her and we walk her out. Then I've decided that I'm going to go for a walk. The psychologist said um, exercise and walking is very good for anxiety and depression. And then I'm going to come back and shower and get dressed and have breakfast and then... Joseph goes to the office between 9 and 12. So, and then I've got some, I started doing courses on Coursera. So, just to keep my brain busy and active. So, I'm going to alternate. So, Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, I do Coursera. Tuesdays and Thursdays, I'm going to read. And then we have lunch. I'm going to have, I'm going to try and exercise after my reading or my Coursera courses. Then we have lunch and then afternoon is like free time where I can read, film, edit, play Sims 4. I love Sims 4. Okay. 
So it's not like set in stone. It's not something I have to be very strict with. It's just a structure and a routine. I've also done this. I've got my diary out and I, oh, what is that paper? I got my diary out and I just like did a brief thing. Like I wrote down Coursera, I wrote down exercise, lunch, and then I can just like check them off. So it gives me that feeling of accomplishment, feeling like I've done something. So yeah, that is how we're doing today. This is the first time I'm doing this. And oh yes, and then over here, Goal for the week. Every week I'm going to try and give myself a goal. So this week, so I haven't finished any book this year. Like, I started reading a book, but I haven't finished it. I'm still on my first book of the year. And we just went into March, which is really bad. So my goal for this week is finishing that book. Let me go fetch it quickly. So I am busy reading On the Come Up by Angie Thomas. I am on page 233. So this is what I have left to finish reading. I am really enjoying it. I loved Angie Thomas's first book. So the goal is to finish that this week. And then next week I have another goal, which I'm not going to tell you guys now. You guys can find out about that later if I get to that goal. Because I've got plans for next week. Let's go check how the eggs are doing. Today we're going to go fetch lunch from home cooked meals. Or supper from home cooked meals. And this week I want to try and go to the two universities nearby. And talk to them about the age exemption. I tried applying online. But um. You should be fine Abby. You're old lady so. The life of a lazy husky. And there's Josiah sticking his nose up to the food. Like yeah, always. Josiah. Yes, Josiah, yes, here he goes. Good, see? Eat your course. So it's a little while later. We went out for a bit. We went to look, talk to the universities. Um, there is one I can get into. It's just about uh, finding the money to pay for it or getting a bursary or financial aid. So we've got to work through that. But now I want to read and the garden services are making a big noise. We haven't been called. They haven't rung the doorbell. So we're not sure if they're cutting someone else's grass or not. We're trying to figure out whose, house they're cut whose grass they're cutting. I'm filming you. Why? Because you guys are cute. Even though they're making a big noise, the fun part about being able to edit a video is I can still set up my camera and film me reading and I can just edit music onto it. Yay! <laughs>
pajama time. Yay. It's like after 10. Like I think it's quarter past 10 or just before quarter past 10. And I've been reading. I read for a little bit last time I vlogged and then I got distracted by Big Bang Theory because I'm re-watching that and I'm on season 4. And one of my favourite episodes arrived. Yay! But then I was about to pick up my book but then guests arrived and guests were here talking it was joseph's aunt and uncle they were here um we were talking and everyone was talking but i was still reading i was like reading and talking i was i was multitasking i was not rude and now they just left so i am gonna be lazy and lie in my bed and read more let's see how far i am i'm sitting on my knees on the bed <laughs> Oh, I'm on page 280. Got that little bit left. Just that little bit. Mm. I'm filming with my other hand, so I can't use it. Oh, I'm not using my tripod that I got for my birthday because I'm not sure where it is at the moment. I think it's in the other room. But I'm going to read now. See you later or tomorrow. <laughs> Good morning. It's like what? 10 o'clock already? And I have been sucked into the vortex that is the Big Bang Theory. But I have put it off now. And I'm going to do some reading. I also want to try and start editing this vlog. So that I don't have to sit at the end of the week and vlog all five or seven five days i'm gonna think i'm gonna stop on friday i'm not sure yet we'll have to see so where i'm gonna go plop myself in the lounge on this beautiful chair and i'm gonna do some reading it's a little bit sad that this is still the first book for the year that i've read and we're in march i haven't read like when i was working I had time to read so whenever I'd had a previous job I'd always read like on my lunch break or at night when I got home and I just I haven't felt the wanting to read so now I want to focus on reading making myself feel better planning what's going to happen with my studies if I'm going to be able to study so I've sent a few emails out this morning regarding my studies. I'm currently communicating with two different universities. So we got to see what happens. So let's start reading. for long it's been a few minutes I've actually technically read like a paragraph but the fluffies need food and Joseph has a meeting and he's busy getting ready to leave to go for his work meeting so I'm gonna feed the fluffies I am getting so easy to distracted from reading from reading to their heartbeat. So I'm going to just turn the camera quickly because oh, camera. Okay, so we have a husky, Dalita, and she loves to get wet and she gets hot very easily. So we have this filled up with water for her and I just poured it all out because it's dirty and it needs to be washed. So I'm going to fill this up quickly.
She's very clearly not interested in talking to me. That was fun. Now let's go try read. Reading. Reading is important. It's very important. It's like vital. You have to read. It's like breathing. <sighs> let's see. Still got a little bit to go. We can check my page number. Oh, camera angle. There we go. I'm on page 300. Yay! How many pages are on in this book? There are 400 and 434 pages. So I've got like 130 pages to go, more or less. Okay, so it's like quarter to five, and I want ice cream. I want ice cream on a stick from like the oh, what's the name of that shop now? like from the cafe not like from the supermarket or just like yeah and i don't want a soft serve either hi neighbor's doggy so i am hi other doggy so i'm gonna take a walk and i'm gonna go get some ice cream it's still some nice sunny weather walking outside the cafe isn't very far it's just like around the corner so I can walk, it's literally like down the street and then you turn, so it's pretty cool. So it's like quarter to three in the afternoon and I haven't filmed or vlogged ow anything today. Why are you throwing pillows at me? Ow! Yeah. You're running out of ammunition. <sighs> you were saying? <laughs> blech. Blech. It's been a very lazy day because... Well, maybe I can throw you with this. Don't hit me. It's very hot today. It's like almost 40 degrees Celsius. We had to drive and take Joseph's bike in because it needed to get oiled or something. Uh, the chain needed oil or it was just like a checkup for the bike because it's at a certain kilometers or something along those lines. So we drove and we let the, them check the bike. And then since we've been home, we've had lunch. Joseph is working, Joseph works from home, and I have just been really lazy. Well, I've been playing a little bit of Sims 4, but now I'm going to read because the room in which the computer in gets really hot, and I can't be in there anymore. It's far too hot. So now I'm going to read some books, or the book, because it's the book, not books. I've got today, tomorrow, and Friday to finish this book. Hi. It's half past nine. I'm reading, but it's been a very, very, is it eventful or eventful? Anyway, it's been an interesting evening. I was watching Big Bang Theory, but then there were bees in the house. Um, Joseph's mom got stung by one and then when Joseph looked outside he saw like a whole lot of bees flying by the light and some of them were on the floor so yeah it's happened it happens at my dad's house sometimes where the bees will just be like flying by the light outside light or sitting on the wall or they're died and they're lying on the floor and now Joseph says that's the same thing that's happening outside in the front my dad says that it is because 
it was really hot today so they either were out very late and then haven't been able to get back into the hive and now they're lost so now they don't know what to do or it, my dad says it's a hive that has moved and they've lost some of their bees so apparently it's not a weird thing that's happening it's just something that happens we just don't see it very often so yeah that happened I took a shower because it was hot it was really hot today it was almost 40 degrees Celsius I think it was like 37 or 38 and then yeah I got distracted by YouTube but now I've been reading I'm very close to finishing well reasonably close to finishing <laughs> um, I didn't do a lot of reading today but I'm actually still awake right now and it's half past nine and normally I'm coming into bed at half past nine so I'm gonna carry on reading Hey love, how was your exercises? Oh yeah. Oh. Feels like I haven't exercised in weeks. Sorry love. Huh? What? You're on the vlog now. No, I'm not. I'm on the floor. Are oh, you on the floor? Mm. Mm. So you didn't enjoy exercises tonight? No, because someone has kept me from doing my normal exercises. I didn't. Yes, you did. Love you. Yeah. Mwah. Okay, so it's 11 o'clock now and I am falling asleep while I'm reading. I'm literally... <gasps> I'm literally holding my book up and I'm like... So and now when I get to that point and I'm reading, the information doesn't remember itself. And then I've got to go page back and reread the book. Well, some of the pages. So I think it's bedtime for today and I will continue reading tomorrow. Good morning. Joseph's mm. still sleeping. It's like quarter to seven, Friday morning. I didn't vlog yesterday, boo, but anyways, I did a lot of reading yesterday, I'm like, this close, I'm like, this close to reading, finish my book, I'm gonna finish my book today, hopefully that's the plan, and then start my vlog idea and my other ideas that I have on Monday. Hi, I hope you can hear me. The fan is on the ceiling fan. It makes a big noise. Well, not that big of a noise, but it's still irritating. So it's just before one o'clock. It's like 20 to one. And we had an interesting morning. Well, a normal morning. Um, Joseph's mom has gone to Joburg for the weekend for work. So we dropped off at the airport and we had breakfast at the airport. We came home and um, so then we've just been relaxing at home. Joseph has just popped out to the shop quickly to get a few odds and ends. I have been on the internet researching career options because I don't know what I'm going to do career-wise. I am still trying to get into teaching but it doesn't look like it's going to work out. So now I've got to figure out something else. Um, yeah, but now Joseph is on his way home and I really want to finish my book. I've got very little bit left and I think I can finish it pretty quickly and maybe I'll play Sims for the rest of the day. I don't know, we'll see. And then on Monday I have new plans but I will talk to you guys about that in Monday's vlog. Slop <laughs> yay! Maisy! Hello! Okay, so it is like almost one now. Or oh, it's actually 1.20. I'm not 100% sure the exact time. But I just finished this book and I need to know what happens. Because the way it ended was very rude. And I want to know if there's going to be more.
because I want more. It just ended like, like they're like, oh my word, this just happened. And they don't tell us what happened. I want to read it. I want to know, is there going to be another book? Is there a follow on? Is there a sequel? Because I need more. This is, the, this is not how you end a book without a sequel. <laughs> but other than that, I really enjoyed this book, even though it took me like, two months to finish reading but it was a really good book i really enjoyed it and i love angie thomas's first book this was also very good <laughs>